Hey everybody, John here with Lux. Today I'm gonna to go ahead and install our headlight tint kit for the 2015 Plus Dodge Charger. Um, I'm gonna be using the Light Smoke Star Power on my car. As you can see, this is one of the pieces you get in the kit. You do get three of these pieces. There'll be two of one side and one of the other. I suggest you start with the one that you have two of so that if you mess up the first time, you have a second shot. Uh, you can see it's clearly labeled. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start by pulling up these two corners here and aligning those on the car. So this is a semi pre-cut kit. It is pre-cut. However, there's extra, as you can see on the left side, it's because we're gonna have to stretch around this dome and this is the easiest way to do it. First thing I'm gonna do is line up the tint on the car. Starting with these two corners. Just barely gonna overhang the corner so that I can wrap around it. Sure that I've got the film on the light and that it's going to continue to cover the light all the way here and all the way here so it looks good go ahead and press this down great and what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply about three inches of the tent right here very easy as you can see I'm just using my hand if you don't have a wrap glove you can just put a microfiber around your hand or really you don't need to do anything this just helps my hand glide against the surface Now that we've locked that down, I'm going to kind of free the tent off the car. Start looking at it just again. All right, I'm going to apply a little bit more down. Okay, that's good about right there. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply heat. I'm going to use a torch because the heat gun is loud in my videos. Um, I'd recommend you use a heat gun unless you're a professional and you really like using a torch and you're good with a tool. But the objective is to heat right here in this area where the bulge will be. And we're gonna wanna pull some tension on the vinyl horizontally because when we pull horizontally, we wanna lay down a nice hinge right in the middle. The reason we wanna do that is then we can lift these flaps and we can heat the vinyl back up and it'll naturally shrink into place because of the the stretch we put on it this way. You'll be able to tell when the vinyl's hot. You can see it gets nice and soft. Once it's soft, I'm gonna reach in. It's okay if it touches itself like it just did right there. And I'm gonna pull some stretch. You see the lines. You can see that I've got the vinyl stretched out now. I've let it cool down. So now I can handle it better. I'm gonna go ahead and get the vinyl uncurled from itself up here. This isn't a problem. If it happens to you, just be patient and work the problem out. It's a cast vinyl, it's got the air release and the adhesive is very forgiving. Now that we've got the vinyl stretched how we want, I'm just gonna reach in and get it to where the face of the light is applied. There we go. So holding it off the car seemed to be the best method for that. You can see I kinda have a tight crease right here, it's not really a problem. Just lift up behind the vinyl while holding it off. Work the film down like that and notice I'm not completely applying it to that top or bottom edge just yet so I'm gonna want to shrink the vinyl and let it do that on its own so keep working around the light just like I was saying I'm drawing the center line you can see my lights taped off uh, that's not 100% necessary but my bumper's been repainted and this black trim down here is painted gloss black so I trust OEM paint and I always get a little hesitant with aftermarket paint or something that's been repainted by a body shop. So just to protect myself and make sure the vinyl doesn't lift the paint off, I put that tape there. Got a little bit of crease right here, put some heat and watch it disappear. Go ahead and apply the rest of the vinyl. So I'm working it to where the only thing I have left to do is the bottom and the top. Now, like I was saying, let's show you the memory effect of this vinyl. You can see here at the top flap, uh, I've got it stretched this way, we know that. So if I apply heat, see it naturally shrinks. 
uh, back to the shortest distance between here and here, which happens to be at the top edge. So I can simply grab the squeegee, help the vinyl lay down up there. And you can see up here we have no tension marks. There's no stretch really applied at that very top edge. Uh, there is a little bit, however, we're using the memory effect to actually help this lay down long term. If you see a whole bunch of little fingers this direction after you do your first shot, you didn't pull enough horizontally. So pull more horizontally and you should have no tension lines, no fingers up here. Same technique down here, however, it's a little bit more dramatic. So we may actually have to put just a little up and down stretch on this final, but it's very easy to do. So we're gonna take the heat. Once again, heat it. You can see it start to shrink right away. Apply it down and uh, we get the vinyl down. There we go. Look, I got a crease right there. I'm actually first just gonna flip over to the hard card side and it went right away. Now, because I do have some little lines of tension forming, I am gonna use the hard card of the squeegee now. The little green squeegee that we provide works awesome. Uh, we also have the Lux squeegees for sale if you want a full size tool. There we go. This install's almost completed. All we have to do now is tuck edges and really refine it and then trim the excess away. First thing I'm gonna do, Heat right here and make sure that the vinyl doesn't pull back or lift or show me that I put any weird stretch on it. It didn't. It looks great. I have a little bit of a line right there uh, on the lens. So what I'm gonna do is pull the film back off the lens just a little bit. Here it. Let it cool. And then right in the middle press. And now we have a perfect, perfect face. It's important to post heat the vinyl to 200 degrees. When you do that, you let the vinyl, you make the vinyl, uh, vinyl's memory effect disappear. It's no longer there. The vinyl doesn't want to return to the flat shape. So that, that effect that we used earlier to get here is no longer there, which is going to be great. Long term, this is going to stick to this shape. We just want to let the vinyl cool down before you start cutting. Or you'll end up with a jagged edge. We've included a blade in this kit. Just be careful not to scratch your lens or your bumper. When cutting, come back in, tuck the vinyl all the way around the lens. So it looks OEM, looks like it came this way. This is the hardest part because the light's very close to the car. Be careful right here. That applied down. And last. Cut away the excess from the top. And when you start to pull the excess away, kind of go slow, because in case you didn't cut all the way through somewhere, you can ruin the install by pulling up too quick. Make sure the vinyl's tucked, which it is. Everything looks great. One more time, heat the edges of the vinyl. And now we can remove the tape. This install is finished. So my car's a Hellcat, and because it's a Hellcat, I recommend you go no darker than the light smoke film. Um, there are no fog lights or secondary lighting systems on this vehicle, so the light smoke is probably the safest bet. You can go medium smoke if you want a little bit of a darker look. However, dark smoke is going to dramatically cut down the light output, so we recommend against that. Uh, mid smoke is great for SRTs or cars with the LED fog lights because you get plenty of light thrown out by those. Heck, a lot of people just drive with those and the sea lights. So I hope this video helps you guys. Um, we have this product and many other tint and decal products available on our website. Have a good day.